This is Ken Long at Tortoise Capital with a review of the weekend trading report for February 4th, 2017. Markets back in bullish normal conditions on an annual basis with weekly R, uh, RSI 14 at the high end of neutral at 69 out of 100, almost overbought. 10 day posture looking at the NDX 10, uh, we're overbought at 92 out of 100. In the market mosaic, price with respect to the 200-day moving average is white bullish at 6.99%. The slope of the 50 is positive at white in white bullish at 0.46. ADX 14 is a non-trending or a weekly trending 14.7. The risk index is the 30-period moving average over the VIX divided by the 10-period. 1.0 is the threshold between risk on and risk off. The reading right now is 1.045, and so we're into risk on. Taking that score, looking back 5,000 trading days, computing the average in the standard deviation, uh, we can compute the risk Z, which is at 0.41, which means it's uh, 0.41 standard deviations above the long-term average. Here is a 90-day time series of that indicator. You can see we're above the zero line and improving. This is a favorable sign for the intermediate term market as volatility continues to remain at low, uh, historically low levels. Next reevaluation in blended monthly balancing is due, <coughs> excuse me, on or about 1 March. And these are the holdings uh, for the, uh, the typical portfolios and the current leaders based on Friday's. Uh, close to business pricing. ETF2 the theoretical exposure is at 100% and the model will be at 100% exposed. Uh, here's some stats on the uh, BMR portfolios. You can see everything's on a buy signal and the strength in the Russell um, and all the US. Uh, only treasuries on a uh, uh, cash posture. Um, ETF 32, the same thing with the short-term and long-term treasuries on cash signals. Otherwise, uh, the U.S. Uh, still at the top, along, uh, led by financials. Um, emerging Europe, actually showing some strength here, too. Uh, in ETF Max, um, we've got some uh, uh, copper, uranium, Financial sectors, uh, steel, semis, basic materials, uh, value portfolios, and some energy as well. In the S&P 500, um, uh, NVIDIA, uh, NRG Energy looks interesting, and ENSCO looks interesting as well. These are all uh, leaders in the S&P 500 that turned in excellent one-week percentages, so I'd be looking for momentum plays there. Uh, I would also look at Freeport Moran as something that has been excellent, but which was um, exceptionally weak, uh, along with Schwab. And then these would be opportunities either for value or for a turn or, or a, uh, a reversal of their good fortune, and it could be a, uh, a turning point. Um, in the market health check, um, the vertical blue lines are uh, 10, 20, and 30 days of look back. Here's 60 and 90. The horizontal red lines are support levels that have held uh, in the past and uh, were once uh, resistance and are now support. See prices uh, trying to get out of this long sideways channel that we've been in uh, since Christmas. Uh, there's been a couple indications up. And so uh, this could act as a very nice base of support. If it were to break below 224, then I would consider the next targets down here around two, uh, 218, and then at the 200-day moving average at 214. You can see this was the Trump effect, uh, and then we've been leveling off uh, after the initial burst of enthusiasm. Uh, slope of the 30-period regression line uh, remained positive at its lowest point and is now starting to creep back upwards, so there is room for this thing to run. The slope of the 30 and the slope of the 10 are both up. Uh, 
ETF2 regional report. All the sectors are on buy signals. The S&P at 50 is better than euros at 47. Uh, small caps, uh, mid caps, tech, and then large caps. There's these indications within the U.S. The strongest sectors in the world right now, U.S. small and U.S. mid caps. The two weakest are uh, emerging markets in Latin America. Uh, gold, silver, treasuries, corporate bonds, uh, suffering as is most of Asia. Uh, Europe is a mixed bag. Brazil and Canada are making their nice comeback. You can see the strength here in U.S. Uh, value and then all across the board with uh, small caps. Finance is strong both in the U.S. and globally. Uh, ETF top 30 using the ETF2 uh, lens. Again, it's financials, metals and mining, financials, small caps, energy, or small caps. Dow 30, um, Goldman, JP Morgan, American Express, three, your top three are all financials. Um, at the bottom of the stack here, uh, Walmart, Johnson, Johnson, Coke. These would be some areas where I'd be looking for potential value plays once we get a turnaround. Shifting to the daily report. Uh, Caterpillar um, firing on a number of different uh, symbols, uh, patterns, excuse me, and then just a couple in the auto framer. Microsoft on 551W as well. A, a few frog quality numbers in the favorable zone. Um, you've got uh, Nike and Caterpillar both in the single digits for RSI2. Um, some an amazing auto framer value here in Verizon at plus 10 and Boeing at four and a half to one. Uh, very few signals in the ETFs, although the number of frog quality numbers above three are starting to creep upwards. Uh, I like the strength in XIV, mid caps, financials, and the Russell. Those are the four sectors that we just talked about uh, continuing to lead the way. Quick look at the market mosaic, see the favorable 30 period regression line. It's at the long term average. So if it were to hold here, uh, there's another possibility of a, another two sigma um, improvement here. That would equate to about another 5% bump uh, in the S&P. Uh, in terms of volatility, I just want to take a quick look here at XIV. This is a weekly chart on it. It has left the station uh, and moving northward. Uh, so volatility continues to be our friend if we look at it on a uh, daily basis. Again, this, um, this was the last little threat uh, to, to collapse, but it rebounded nicely. Again, it gets above 63, and uh, we've got another leg of, uh, you know, 5 to 8% uh, in XIV available to the upside. That's the size of each of these little wavelets. But uh, you have uh, everything out of the river, trending behavior, um, and, the, and as long as that's happening, that's, uh, that's favorable for the long-term and intermediate-term market. Uh, so we will continue to look for opportunities to the long side while being sensitive um, to the fact that this has been a nice and an extended run from really 40 uh, to 63 uh, since December. That's the Trump effect for you. Right there. All right, that's everything I want to cover today. This is Ken Long at Tortoise Capital. Keep your risk measured and your powder dry.